Hi everyone, George Cow here. So I want to give you a basic tour of how to use Instagram. Now we're going to be talking in this video about how to use it as an end user, as a content consumer. Uh, this is in preparation for a course I'm teaching on how to use Instagram as a creator, as a business, to grow your business, to grow your audience. But in this video, I'm just going to show you, all of you who are kind of getting new, uh, new in on Instagram, kind of getting used to using it, how to use it as an end consumer. So let's get going. I'm going to first show you how to use it um, on the mobile app, which is how most people use it. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how to use it on the desktop. Again, we're going to be focused in this video on how to use it as an end consumer, as a content consumer in the paid course is how to use it as a creator business. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and share my phone screen and show you the Instagram app. All right. So there's my phone screen <laughs> with the picture of my dog buddy. Um, and I just want to make sure that the video is actually working. So those of you who are watching this live, go ahead and comment below and let me know that it is coming through, that you are indeed seeing a picture of my dog buddy. And then, um, and then now what we're going to do is uh, show you the Instagram app. Okay, so you can see my Instagram app. I've already installed it. It's on the second row of apps. It's on the right-hand side, um, just above, uh, just above Buddy on the right-hand side. So I'm going to click on it. All right, opening up Instagram. So here we go. Okay, um, so when you're coming into the Instagram app, uh, if you haven't followed anyone yet, you might not see any posts or you might recommend that you follow some people. But I've already followed a bunch of people, so that's why I'm, I'm seeing posts right away. It could, you could see I've been here before. I haven't refreshed yet, so it says new posts. So if I click on new posts, it'll refresh it. And there's Colleen. Great. And so um, I, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to use it. Like if I, you know, I can simply scroll. I can just hold the screen button and just scroll down if I want to look at other posts. If I want to engage with a particular post, let's say Colleen's picture here, I can basically double click to like it. So I'm going to double click on the double tap on the on the screen to like her post. There you go. And on Instagram, there's only one type of like. There's only like. There's only really like or unlike, which is a heart shaped, as you could see on the bottom left of Colleen's picture here. And then the other the other couple things I can do is I can I can look at the caption underneath her photo. As you can see, she's wrote, written here, I've been quiet on social media, taking much needed break. I was fortunate. And you can see we, we want to read more. We have to click on the more button. So I'll, I'll do ahead and tap on the more now. And that allows to read more. And then we can also engage with the comments by viewing all eight comments by clicking there if I want to do that. And that brings us directly to the comment thread of this photo. Okay. And then there's uh, the caption that she wrote underneath her photo shows up as the first quote unquote comment. It's not really a comment, it's a caption, but it shows up at the top of the comments. And then the first comment here was from Marnie Dangerfield, um, and then uh, JM, JLM, and then Psychotherapy Mom, and Realty Teacher, blah, blah, blah. And if I wanted to uh, like one of the comments, I simply click on the heart next to the comment. So I'll, I'll click, go ahead and click like on uh, next to Marnie's comment there. If I wanted to reply to Marnie's comment, I can click on reply, and now I'm replying to Marnie. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but uh, uh, so you might say, well, how do I comment on Col Colleen's picture? Well, you can see at the bottom, uh, it says add a comment. So there's where I can type in my comments, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, and then, but I'm gonna show you how to continue surfing surfing Instagram. So I'm gonna click on the back button on the top left next to comments, I'll click back. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I could do a couple things with any post on Instagram, someone else's post. I, as you can see, I, could have, I liked it, as you saw that, next to like is a comment button. If I click on the comment button, again, it brings us to the comment thread of that picture. I'm gonna go back, next to the comment button, is the send button. You can see it looks like a paper airplane, right? The send button. If I click on the send button, this allows me to, uh, you could see there, it says write a message. Next to, to the left of write a message is the picture that I would be sending on, which is Colleen's post. I'd be sending it on to somebody. I could either add the post to my story, which in this case might, might seem a little strange. I'm adding someone's picture to my story. I'll tell you about stories later. Um, or I could send the, the post to Rasul, uh, Val, or as you can see here, Mayan, Eric. I could send it specifically to any of those people. 
but I'm not gonna do that right now, or I can click on search to find somebody that I wanna send it to. So let's say I wanna send it to Sean, then I could you know, type in his name and click on send if I want to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, okay, so I'm just going to you know, drag this down. And then the last thing I could do, as you can see on the bottom right of Colleen's photo is to save, which is to save, uh, which is means I can come back to it more easily. And as you, and as you saw, when I saved it, I could also click save to a collection and save to a collection means I can click on plus button to say, um, you know, uh, client uh, photos or whatever, like, like, like that. Um, and I can click done. Great. So I've just saved it to client photos. And you might say, well, George, how do you find the collections later? Well, you go to your profile. Okay, go to your profile and then click on the three bars on the top right and uh, click on saved on the right hand side here. Okay, and then there's all the things I've saved, all posts or client photos, or I created something called promote uh, some time ago. But let's go back to the home. Okay, let's go back home, okay? And uh, so what right now I've shown you how to engage with any particular post on Instagram. By the way, I want, also wanna show you right above Colleen's picture here on the top right of her picture, there are three dots. If I click on the three dots, it allows me to report, it just means if it's an inappropriate content, if it's like, you know, if someone is, well, if it's spam or if it's pornographic or something, if it's not appropriate, you would click on report to report that thing to Instagram saying, this shouldn't be here. Obviously that you almost never use that because you're following people that's reputable. Um, you could turn on post notifications, which means if anyone else comments on Colleen's photo, then I'll get a notification that they did. I wouldn't do that. But, uh, you know, if, if it was like a post from a niche mate, a, um, someone you're following or a particular discussion that you're really interested in, you can turn on post notifications to continue uh, following that discussion. Uh, you can copy the link if you wanted to share this post elsewhere on social media or on an email or whatever. You can click share to to share it more easily. You can mute means you don't want to get notifications anymore, or you can unfollow the person. Yes, you can unfollow the person right from here, but I'm not going to do that. And of course, you can also click on Colleen Parent Writer on the top left of her photo to go to her profile. And on her profile, uh, I'll show you around. In fact, someone's profile here. Um, on Colleen's profile, there's her bio at the top. There's a link you can click on to go to her website or whatever link she wants you to go to. Um, and then uh, you could, you know, you could see down here under following and under her link is the, the word that says following. I can click on following and choose whether I want to add her to the close friends list. Close friends list just means that you, you have some special features. Like if you're, if you're creating content, you can share it just with your list of close friends. Uh, you could choose whether or not you want to be notified whenever Colleen makes posts or, or, or a story or IGTV video. If I want to say, oh, I want to be notified when Colleen does an IGTV video, I could do that. Um, also, live videos. Do you want to be notified when Colleen does live videos? Get all notifications or get some. What do I mean by some? Some just means that if she did a live video and it was quite popular, a lot of people engage with it, then Instagram might notify me and say, hey, you know, since you follow Colleen, she has a great live video going. Uh, you might want to, um, you know, check it out. So, so that's uh, the notifications. Um, so that was the following button. The message button, of course, allows allows me to privately message Colleen if I wanted to do that on Instagram. I could even, as you could see in the message area, I could I could record a voice memo for her. I could add an image for her. You can see next to where it says message are those buttons, and then there's a plus button which allows me to add a GIF or um, what is this? Oh, quick replies. You could save the responses to, to the questions you see. Oh, okay. Um, I, could, I could add a default you know, message to her or, or click on like for um, uh, sending a heart to her, which is kind of, kind of awkward actually. Um, so <laughs> that I just sent a like uh, to her. But um, all right. And then email uh, is, well, like it says, you can, you can, I could email her directly from here. Um, whoops, let me go back to Instagram here. Okay. Great, and then this additional buttons down here. Let's see here. Uh, oh, suggested, you know, other, other profiles may wanna follow. So down here on Colleen's profile, you can see under the following button is what's called a highlight. A highlight is basically um, a story that she has chosen to highlight uh, on, on, her, on her bio. 
And um, in my Instagram course, I'll teach you how to create stories. I'll teach you how to add them to highlights and, and all the, the, the details on, on that stuff. But I want to show you, again, we're on someone's profile. We're on Colleen's profile here. And as you can see, there's a grid of photos. And photos are basically the way photos and images or images and videos are how you make posts on Instagram. So she has images and, and a video here, too. As you can see, the video has, a you know, on the second row, there's a little TV icon, and that's an Instagram IGTV video there. Uh, you could also see that there are a couple of tabs right here on her on her uh, on her profile. One, the tab that we're on right now is the is is the, basically her timeline. It's like her her profile. Like on Facebook, you have you know posts. On Instagram, you have you know a, a grid, a timeline grid here. And this is where you can kind of click through and see her various images, read the captions. Um, you know, and engage with the, with the image, the post, like I've shown you before, you can like it, you can, you know, add a comment, you can send it on, you could save it, etc. Let's go back to her profile here. Um, the middle tab, you could looks, looks like a TV, right? Well, that's IGTV, which is Instagram TV. What is IGTV? IGTV is Instagram's response to uh, YouTube in, in a sense. So these are generally short um, uh, videos usually up to 10 minutes long and you know if I click on one of them then I'm now I'm watching watching her video and when I'm watching someone's IGTV I can either double click to like it I could uh, same things you know I can add a comment uh, on the on the video I could send it to somebody or I can click on three dots which again same thing report not interested not interested just means that hey uh, I'm gonna train Instagram in the future to show me uh, less of her stuff which I'm not gonna do here I could also even save it uh, as well if I wanted to watch it later and click on up next on the top bottom right is kind of showing me oh um, you know I'm on her profile so it's going it's only going to show me what's up next on her IGTV okay I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down uh, tap and scroll down to get back to her profile I'm going to go back to the Instagram homepage. And again, if I just keep scrolling, you know, you will see some Instagram ads. You'll see some other people's, you know, you know, you know this is Pamela's uh, video. Um, if I click on, by the way, when you scroll and you see someone's video, it's muted automatically. You can't hear anything. But if I click on the, um, if I click it again, the sound will start. Now, Right now, why are you not hearing sound? It's because when I shared this, uh, my mobile phone with you, I didn't share sound. That's why you're not hearing uh, Pamela's voice right now. But, but you, as you can see, this bottom, if I, if I tap on the video, as you can see, do you see the bottom right? You see those icons? If I tap it once, it, it's, it's audio. Tap it once, it's muted. So that's how you hear a video on Instagram is you tap it. You tap it once or you tap it again to mute it. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. So that's why I wanted to show you. Okay. Um, Okay, now what I want to show you is at the top of Instagram, if you scroll to the top, there are what's called stories. And stories are what's considered to be ephemeral content or temporary content, which means that it's content that goes away after 24 hours. That's right. A story, if you don't watch it, 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 it basically is posted for 24 hours when, whenever the person posted the story. And as you can see on the top left, I can click on the plus button to create a story. And anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to create stories and all the other things in my paid course. But here in this video, I just wanna show you how to use, these, uh, use this app. But as you can see here on the top, it gives me the stories of some of the people whose posts I've engaged with. If they've created a story, it'll be there at the top. So you can see Yovana, uh, it's spelled Jovana, but it's pr pronounced Yovana. Uh, has a story there. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And uh, I'll go ahead and click on Yovana's picture at the top, uh, which is in the stories area. I'll click on it here, tap on it. Okay. And um, I want to show you a couple things. If I tap and hold the screen right now, which is what I'm doing, okay, if I tap and hold the screen, it will pause the story so I can, I can read it longer. If I don't tap and hold the screen, it's only for, I think it's 10 seconds or, or 12 seconds, something like that. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and it just keeps going. So it's very fast. So, for example, this one right now, Yovana posts in uh, Serbian language. I believe it's Serbian. Uh, so I'm not able to understand this. She also uses some English. But um, as you can see, what I'm doing here, why is this story holding on the screen so long? It's because I've tapped and held it. I tap and hold. And that allows me to stay on the story. When I first started using Instagram, I was really confused by it. I'm like, hey, the stories are going by so fast. 
you tap and hold the screen and it'll keep it there. Now, the other thing I want to show you is that besides tapping and holding, the other thing you can do is you can tap on the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. If I tap on the left side of the screen, it goes back to the previous story. If I tap on the right side of the screen, it goes to the next story. So if I keep tapping on the right side, it'll keep going to the next story, next story, next story. Or if I tap on the left side of the screen, previous story, previous story, previous story. All right. And on any story, you notice that there is, um, click on the send message on the bottom, uh, bottom of the screen. And this allows me to send a message to Yovana and, and it gives me a couple icons that are very, or emojis that are very popular. I can click on any emoji to, um, to, to, you know, I'm going to send this, you know, <laughs> reaction sent to Yovana. You might say, well, wh where does that show up? So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, go to Yovana's profile by clicking on her little picture on the top left, right? To go to her profile. Okay. Now I'm on Yovana's profile, right? I can click on the message button. Okay. And this will bring me to the message thread, the private message thread I've got going with Yovana. And as you can see here, I've sent her a clap for, um, for her story. And I'm going to send her another message here. Um, I'm uh, demoing. Whoops, I'm de uh, dem uh, demonstrating, demonstra uh, demonstrating Instagram. <laughs> Instagram to my audience. So showing them your profile. Yeah. Okay, click send. All right, there you are. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the back and you can see on the top when you're in a, when you're in a private message thread with somebody, you can even send them a video. See on the top right of the screen, there's the video button. There's also this button. Uh, oh, the, oh, sorry. This button that, that I've clicked on in the middle there is to kind of save the, the direct message thread so that it's more easy to find the I button on the top, right? Uh, allows me to mute messages from her. <laughs> if I don't want to hear from her, I can move the message to what's called the general category, which is a different inbox and other things that you can mute video chat, et cetera. But I'm going to click back and click back and I'm going to show you uh, how to find the direct message inbox. Okay. I'm going to go back to the Instagram home screen. Okay. This is my home screen. And on the Instagram home screen, you can see on the top right, on the top right, there's a paper airplane icon, right? And if I click on the paper airplane icon, that brings me to my direct message inbox. So this is like a primary, uh, sorry, private message inbox for your Instagram app. And you can see there are two inboxes, one called primary and one called general. Okay. Now you can move certain mess, certain threads. Every single person you message with, you start a, 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 an eternal thread with that person. You, as you can saw earlier, I can move a message using click on the I button back to the general. Okay. And this will move it to the general box. So I have to find it there in the future. Or if I can click on the I again, I can move it to the primary box. And so primary and general is basically people you maybe message with more often can be in the, um, can be in the primary box. The people you message less often, you can put them in the general box. And you, you also, there's another useful thing to, this, to see here. Do you see there at the top, there's a search bar. The search bar allows you to search any of your Instagram private messages. To the right of the search bar, there's a little uh, three lines with dots, right? Just to the right, as you can see here, on the right side of the search bar, click on the three lines. And this will allow you to sort your inbox by saying, I just want to see all the unread messages. So that's really useful, isn't it? So um, I'm going to click it again. As you can see, I can click on inbox to see everything, or I can click on the, the middle one to see unread, or click on flag to see all the flag messages. Remember earlier when I was showing you the thread with Yovana, when I clicked on the, the middle top button, the next to the camera icon that at the top, there's a flag. If I clicked on flag, now this thing is flagged, right? So you can see that there's an orange thing there. So this helps you to manage your Instagram inbox. Again, I click on the three next to the search on the right-hand side of the search. I click on those, the search filter and I can click on flag. And this shows me just the flag threads. Okay, I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'll show you. Um, that's pretty much how you use it. Oh, one more thing, and very importantly, um, on the bottom, on the bottom, you see a heart, an empty heart, on the very bottom of the screen. If you click on the empty heart, this brings you to all of the notifications on Instagram. So when someone has follows you, okay, 
uh, when someone has liked any of your posts or, or your videos, when someone has commented on any of your, let me see if I can go to a comment here. When someone has commented, there you go. So you can see Le Petit Nest has commented saying absolutely on my post. And if you wanna to go to the post, you can click on the post on the right hand side, the little tiny image of the post here. I'm gonna click next to absolutely, I'm gonna click on the tiny image. That brings me to the post so I can see the whole comment thread. If I, if I can also uh, click on the heart underneath her um, comment, I can click on the heart to like her comment. Okay, it's just like I just did now. I can also click on her profile image to go to her profile to see what she's all about. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the heart there. And then let's go back to the home screen. Okay, the home screen, uh, last thing I wanna show you is you can see on the bottom right of the home screen is my little picture, my little profile image. If I click on my little profile image on the bottom right, that brings me to my profile. And on my profile, as I've already shown you how to read someone's profile, how to engage with the things. But now I wanna show you the three bars on the top right of your own profile. When you go to your own profile, you could see there are three bars at the top. You click on the three bars at the top and here are some very useful things. You could look at the archive of your stories, okay? The archive of your story, all of you, these are all my stories, okay? Instagram stories only last for 24 hours, but you can go back to any previous story and you can share the story. Even after you can see on the bottom, there's a share button to share a story, even though it's been expired and no longer available um, on the Instagram feed for everybody. Okay, the other thing, I'm gonna click the three bars again at the top right. You can also look at insights to look at the various activities, you know, um, how many views each thing is getting. As you can see, 631 views, 550 views, et cetera, et cetera. Scroll down, um, okay, and then you could also see activity. There's three tabs here underneath my profile name. There's content, there's activity, okay, and then there's audience. And basically, I just encourage you to kind of scroll down and look at these different insights to study these things and learn how, how Instagram is going for you. Click on the three bars again. Uh, you could click on the save, like I showed you earlier, click on close friends and other things. And the very last thing, I don't go here very often, but at the bottom of the screen, I'll, okay, the bottom middle of the screen is how you create posts. That's one of the buttons. That's one of the ways you create posts. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you also see a magnifying glass. And if you click there, that brings you to what's called Instagram Explore. And this is basically showing you interest, interesting posts on Instagram. You could also scroll at the top to look at various categories. And you can click on the search, but, search box at the top to search particular hashtags or topics you, you're interested in looking at. So anyway, it's well, well worth exploring if you're interested in that. But other than that, um, that's the Instagram tour on the mobile app. And at this point, I'm gonna stop my screen share now and uh, show you how to use Instagram on the laptop or desktop. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click on share screen. All right, and let's go ahead and go to the Instagram.com, okay? And I'm assuming that uh, you are logged in, okay? And once you're logged in, you could basically to do a lot of things here on the Instagram laptop desktop edition. Uh, you, there's some things you can't do, especially as a creator, it's much more useful to use the app. But uh, in my course, actually, I'm, I am gonna show you how to post to Instagram from the laptop, from the desktop. That's actually how I post most of my posts, but my videos I make using the app. But anyway, from an end user point of view, if you just wanted to surf Instagram on your computer, okay, you could come to Instagram.com, you log in, and same thing, it's very, very simple. You could see the posts in my feed are here. I could uh, you know, like the posts. I could click on, um, I can add a comment. I could see who else liked it. I can click on more down here to read the entire caption. I could save it if I want to. Uh, this doesn't allow me to save to a collection. As you can see on the app, you could do that here. It's pretty much just saved to the general collection. Okay, um, and as you can see, the stories are up here too. If I click on Yovana again, here, um, here the, the stories are here again, and here it's a little bit again. If you if you click on if if you tap if you click and hold your mouse, you can see at the top it says paused, and that pauses so that I can look at this story a little bit longer than, than a few seconds. If you click on the left button, it goes to the previous story, previous story. Click on the right button, 
writes, you know, next story, next story. And uh, as usual, you can click on send message at the bottom to send uh, the story creator a private message. Okay, so um, very simple. And then you could, of course, click on yourself on the top right. Uh, I click on my profile and this goes to your profile and you know, you could see your various tabs, your IGTV, your saved posts are here. So that's very convenient. Like I said, you know, I, I showed you earlier, I saved this one. I saved Colleen's post from the mobile app. And then you can also engage with your direct messages right here um, at the top right. You can and also your notifications, direct messages, click on there. As you can see here, um, okay. Uh, Toto's got connected to you. Okay. Anyway, so Yovana is, um, as you can see, she's typing right now. <laughs> so she's engaging with me here. And then uh, I could see notifications as well. If I click on here, I can scroll down, see who has followed me, and um, you know, uh, click on click on their profile photos, and and I can even see the the comments as well. Let's go back down to that comment. But here, I can't immediately like the comment from this desktop laptop app uh, or website. I have to do that. Well, I can go to the comment thread and I could scroll down um, and engage with the comments that way by liking it, but it's a little bit less convenient than the mobile app. You can also click search here at the top and you could research hashtags. So if I wanted to research, you know, authentic, you know, authentic marketing or something like that, I could, I could see how many posts have been made in these various uh, hashtags. So I could do some research there on the uh, desktop app. So I hope this is a nice tour on how to use Instagram from a consumer and user point of view in the course itself. Now I could uh, focus the course on using it from a creator business growth point of view. So if you're interested in that, if you enjoy Instagram or you know that your um, potential clients are on Instagram, I'll tell you just real quick, a quick sales pitch for my course is that the reason why I'm teaching the course is I've been really enjoying meeting new prospective clients through Instagram, I find that Instagram, interestingly, it's, I find it easier to find people who have similar values as me. So people who are more maybe heart-based, uh, more, you know, visionary, uh, kind of wanting to make the world a better place. Um, it just it seems to be easier to meet people there uh, that way. And also Instagram ads, which I'll talk a little bit about Instagram ads in my course. I've been meeting way more, um, people who are much better fit for my my values and my business compared to, to Facebook ads running a tool to cool audiences. I teach Facebook ads as well. Uh, I use Facebook ads these days mostly to reach my warm audience, whereas these days I'm actually using more Instagram ads to reach people who don't know me yet. So that's why I'm really excited about Instagram. Uh, if you think you could meet people who are your potential clients, I think they're probably on there. So you might want to take my course, uh, totally up to you. Um, but at least hopefully with this video, now you know how to use Instagram and maybe you can get used to using it, see if you enjoy it. And, uh, you know, in the future, you want to take my course, you can do that as well. Okay. All right. I hope this helps. And I look forward to your comments and your questions below. Right, take care.